Hi, Doc Martin for the Zero Channel. This book's got to get on that Zero Channel. Yes, with birds in the background, this is a new book review. It's called Mean Girl Feminism. How White Feminists Gaslight, Gatekeep, and Girl Boss by Kim Hong Nguyen. Butchering names again. I'm sorry, Kim. <coughs> it's not a well, everybody wonders and probably is wondering, why am I putting up this book? Well, you have to be well read and you have to get out of your comfort zone and just think because I'm a fat old white man that I don't know the issues of this world. So, it's a great little book. It comes from Illinois, University of Illinois Press, Urbana, Chicago, and Springfield, press.uillinois.edu. It's a very concise and small book. It's written like a thesis. It is actually, I don't know if she's an associate professor. And uh, it says, this is an important book that is beautifully and powerfully written and deeply original while offering productive interventions into the study of mean girl culture and its larger impact on conversations on feminism. Nick Yoon does an excellent job showing the systematic and historical way which white supremacy and patriarchal patriarchy interact themselves on white women's feminist practices and creative and creation of mean girl femini, uh, feminism. A vital contribution, and that's by Kishona L. Gray, Black Users in Digital Gaming. Mean Girl Feminism encourages girls and women to become sassy, sassy, sarcastic, and ironic as feminist performance. Yet it co-ops its effect, form, and content from radicalized oppression and protest while directing meanness towards people in marginalized groups. Kim Hong Yong Nguyen examines four types of mean, a uh, white mean girl feminism prominent in North American global culture. The bitch, the mean girl, the power couple, and the global mother. White feminists meme the, the anger, disempowerment, and resistance felt by people of color and other marginalized groups. Their performance allows them to pursue and to claim a special place within established power structures, present as, ex, present as intellectually superior, Advance their girl squads and their partners as part of a politics of solidarity and community, and position themselves as better, more enlightened masters than men. But, as Nig Yuen argues, the racialized meanness found across pop culture opens possibilities for building an intersectional feminist politics that rejects performative civility in favor of turning anger into liberation. Boom. Well, I guess it's okay to be angry, but don't turn it to meanness. <laughs> so, the four uh, chapters that she has here is Bitch Feminism, Black-Faced Girl Boss and Feminist Performative and perform uh, Performative and perform Performative Politics. Two, Mean Girl Feminism, Gatekeeping at illegible rage, as illegible rage. Power couple feminism, gaslighting and re empowering heteronormative aggression. Normative aggression. <laughs> Global mother feminism, gatekeeping biopower and sovereignty, and the conclusion abolishing mean girl feminism. Whew, a mouthful and a powerful book indeed. <laughs> So it comes out with the uh, uh, white explaining white lady of liberal reason on Saturday Night Live, the Mean Girls here on Saturday Night Live. So it's a it's parody upon parody here. It says I begin with these four white women characters par parodied in a sketch comedy show Saturday Night Live because they are examples of the uh, white womanhood discussed in this book. So. Acknowledgements. She says a South Vietnamese refugee, 
Her mother was a maid to many white working bourgeois women. So, uh, though I'd received my mother's generous permission, these stories that she never shared with these are stories that she shared with me that she never shared with me out of anger. I learned these stories indirectly because I had to translate and read the apology rehiring note from the woman who accused her of stealing and the Christmas cards attached to cheap candle and toiletry. Yeah. But her father cheered her on to the end of his days. So. Yeah. Feminine civility and the right to be mean. <laughs> so it says uh, accusing uh, country musician Taylor Swift appears ac accusing in her white feminine voice you with your words like knives swords and weapons that you use against me you've knocked me off my feet again got me feeling like a nothing then her band plays banjos and tambourines in a backcountry setting of the American South in the uh, opening scene Oh, so, on the course's book I, I illustrate how feminism develops its own notion of oppression based on gender by discounting rationalism, racial, racialization, and disavowing knowledge about racialized oppression in order to position white women as the best sovereigns or equal masters of power to white men. What a dichotomy, huh? <laughs> so, oh, it was, uh, now there's a, 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 a book out called The Bitch Manifesto, and it was by uh, Joe Freeman. And she talks about most famously prompt by the Bitch Manifesto, the bifurcation of feminism, conservative women's identity as feminists, the emergence of the power couple, and uh, she said these terms interest me because they're also terms I've encouraged to use. I have been encouraged to use to create my own ethical distinction and status. But here I prob problematize them as tools of weaponization. So, my hope for this book is not to do away with the project of feminism writ large, but instead to continue to examine the formative term, performative term that fosters meanness as an effective form of colonial sovereignty. So in the end, uh, her conclusion comes out as well, I'll read the last paragraph. Considering how racialized anger can be co-opted and appropriated, solidarity within him, with her or them, means recognizing that the Sawball turn may not appear, so we must wait. Solidarity with her, them, means recognizing that the subaltern, subaltern may not speak, so we must listen. Solidarity with her, them, means recognizing that the sol, subaltern may not be alone, so we must widen our scope. Feminism is the future. A decolonial feminizing might not be recognized as feminism at all. Well, thank you for watching, and I hope that... Uh, you get the book. You want to get out of your zone and uh, learn about other people's uh, happenings, and it ain't all about you. Thanks for watching. We got this book at the Tucson Pima County Public Library, like you can get it at yours. Thank you. Goodbye, Carrie Zeke TV.